Hey guys, welcome back to Funtime Crafts 24-7. This is a let's make video. Um, now, I haven't made this card yet. Um, I cut out quite a few of the pieces, but I know you guys like to uh, see the process of how the stuff goes. Um, this is going to be a kind of an intensive card to make because it's a unique uh, idea. And um, basically what it was was I wanted to use the Anna Griffin. Uh, I believe it's like the Garden Trellis. Um... Let's see, what is this called? It is the Garden Trellis. Oh, Garden Arch Scene 3D dies. 3D dies. Uh, these right here. Uh, they're so pretty. I have had them in my stash for a while. Uh, they look like this. I also picked up the coordinating um, climbing vine decoupage decoupage die cuts uh the coordinating ones that go with this set um and i wanted to i wanted to use it um i've been wanting to use it but i also wanted a scene well i had picked up a while back um i wanted to use it with a scene so that way you were uh, kind of framing uh, something really pretty um and generally i would match pair this with some heartfelt creations papers but um in light of kind of how that was all going you wouldn't necessarily be able to get any of that stuff. So I dug around in my stash and found these Kirigami uh, scene card toppers. And so um, I grabbed one of those out. The thing about this is, is it has a beautiful scene on both sides. And I was trying to figure out a way. Well, I don't want to cover up. I'm Like, I don't want to cover it up. Um, and as you can tell, if you put this on there, it's still going to be really gorgeous when you layer that on top. It'll be absolutely beautiful. But I was trying to figure out a way, but then you would lose this side. What could I do to be able to utilize that beautiful scene, but also, um, incorporate this arch into it as well. So what I came up with, the idea is that I cut out a couple of these card centric frame dies, um, I, I made a, a little, um, I cut out a little panel out of the middle. And what I thought was, what if we do this? What if we make like a book card and we frame it like this? So basically what I have is this, um, this card and card topper is from the wildflower garden cards and layers set. And I got this like beautiful sky blue one out. It's got the handmade by on the back. It's a five by seven card side folding. And I thought, what if we take a card topper? This is cut down to four and three quarter by six and three quarter. And we layer this on the top of it. Um, we're going to layer this on the top. But hold on. Let me show you. We're, what we're going to do is we're going to glue this to this. We are then going to cut both of these out at the same time. Once I glue this one onto this one, we're going to cut a square out or a rectangle out of the center. Then we are going to um, make a double frame on this with a hinge. With a hinge. So it'll be like, there. you'll have this little hinge piece on the inside like this. And this is going to hinge on to the side of this topper here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to glue this entire thing down to here like that. And this is cool because this is where the book portion, this is how it turns into a book card. What you would then potentially be able to do is lift this panel up here, see the whole inside, see the whole um, beautiful picture, and then you would open up the card and you would reveal uh that there um this scene here like don't you think that's like a really fun idea and so I haven't done it yet I've just been playing around thinking about it and I think I got it figured out I got the hinge portion figured out because basically what we're going to do is we're going to glue two of these together with the hinge in the middle so you can't see that part like that see what I mean you can't see that, so we're going to square that up, put that there, and then you can't see it on the inside. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to glue that to the back of that, and glue that here, and then the fun thing is it should go like that. 
like that and then the whole thing open so i say let's just start with it so let me show you okay so i showed you where that came from i showed you where these came from these here came from the uh, uh, uh the this set here and this is the card centric compendium dies so i'm using i'm using these I cut out uh, this frame here, this second frame, out of vanilla, uh, Anna Griffin vanilla cardstock. I cut out the large one out of gold with the center one that goes here. I cut these two out together twice. And you want to tape these together, cut it out twice so they're exactly the same. Um, hopefully... You want to make sure the middle one is as centered as possible so that way when you flip it back onto it um, to make it pretty on the inside, it the hole will match up. And the only way you can do that is if this one is perfectly centered. If not, you can always just decorate that edge. So don't worry about that either. Um, I'm kind of going to see where mine ends up coming out. So those are the ones I use there. And then this rectangle die is out of this set as well, but it's out of this one here. And it's, it's the rectangle that frames this, this large frame here. So we're going to use that to cut out the front of our, our card. So let me push these. Actually, let me put these to the side because we're done with these. So two of this one layered together. Uh, one of these with the layering die. Uh, this one here with the layering die to get that frame. And then we're going to cut that out. Okay, and now the other thing that I used is I made, so I showed you where these came from. These are, these are from, this is the Garden Arch. These are from that um, decoupage set. But then I made a bunch of these tiny little flowers, um, used some Heartfelt Creations little stamens. And you're going to be able to get these stamens from Crafter's Companion, Scrapbook.com, uh, Joann's. Um, Michael's, uh, Amazon. There's a lot of places that you can get these type of little sugar stamens. Um, but the flowers I made, these tiny little flowers here, and then I made these little leaves This from this stem here. Those are from the this set here, and they're uh, called the, wait for it, right here, Mini Flowers and Flor many flowers and foliage dies too um and i used these two here and i cut i cut a bunch out like as you can see large ones and then i was like i only need the tiny ones so then i just cut these two out here so these two sizes these little bitty ones are the ones we're actually using that's these two here uh so all i did was to do these um let me show you on on a big one though on this larger one so you can actually see it because those tiny ones, my big hands will be in the way and like manhandling it. You won't be able to see a thing. Uh, so basically what I did was is I used um, a ball tool. Well, this one's more appropriate, but on those I used this little tiny ball tool, poked the center. So just did this, just like that. And then, um, and then what I did was I used my paper piercer and pierced a hole in the center like that, kind of ran it up the um shaft of the paper piercer because as you go up ah, oh, if you do that you can hot glue it back together so don't even worry about it um but the the farther up you go on the shaft of the paper piercer the larger the hole is and the easier it is to thread your little sugar stamen in and then i just hot glued that to the center brought up all the petals curved them up around it to give them a little shape up but then what i did was i took um after so basically after i glued this all hot glued this all together i took a curling tool um and this is out of the deluxe heartfelt creations deluxe flower shaping set and i took the curler and i just curled the the petals down like this just to give them a little shape like that um wait like so like that see it just gives them a nice little form, a little shape like that. See? See how pretty that's looking? Um, 
Ah. You just want the very end, but you can start it and then go back. And um whoops. That's 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 because I I I broke it, but you can hot glue that back together cuz I did that on a couple of mine, so no worries. But that's how I got that's how I got the flowers. Oh, this one needs done too. Can't really tell. Come on, little buddy. And of course it doesn't want to work on camera, so it's a little camera shy. Come on, sweetie, you can do it. Here you go. Oh goodness. Wait, okay, there we go. Well, okay, enough fiddling around. I already already showed you a few petals, so this one is just camera shy. There. Okay, we got it. Better than nothing, right? Okay, so and so when I form it, I formed it up like that, and then you curl it, and then you get a beautiful little flower like that, but in this size. And I only did that on the four petal ones. And so this is Anna Griffin pink matte foil, a yellow matte foil, and then the little ones, I also cut some of them out in some yellow cardstock that I then distressed with a yellow ink in um, archival sundazed. I just use a little sponge dauber, um, and went along the edges on the yellow cardstock ones and made a few of those, um, just for an added contrast. See, look at these tiny little ones. Aren't they so cute? And so I've got about, I don't know, 15 little flowers I made here. And so then what I did on the, on the stain or on the little leaves that we might end up using, I don't know if I have enough leaves. I cut off all the petals of this one here, the top one I trimmed off there and then just cut it down each side of the stem. And then I distressed the ends of them with some library green archival ink. Um, and, oh, oh, and then what I did was, um, here, let me show you, uh, I just took the small, tiny ball tool. So, so what I did was I, I cut it off each side of the stamen, or not the stamen, the stem of the leaves. So I could just get the leaves. I did that all the way down that, and then I, I distressed them, dipped them in my ink, just did this, like that, and then I took my little ball tool and, I <laughs> whoops. <laughs> I just went down the center of the leaf to curl it. But these bigger ones, you have to use a bigger ball tool. So you can curl them. So you just kind of run it, working the paper back and forth to give a little shape to the leaf. And so then you have a little dimension with the color, and then you have dimension with the shaping of the leaf. And that way it makes them not so flat like this one-dimensional. You get a three-dimensional little leaf petal. And we're going to fill in with those on top of uh, these here. Uh, we're going to see how it goes. We're just going to see how this goes. I don't know. I haven't done it yet. And we're just kind of giving it a whirl. So, um, yeah. So, there's that. <clears throat> now, I don't know how long the video is going to be. But um, if if you're not one that, you know, can sit around too long and watch, just zoom to the end and see what it looks like. Just see what it looks like at the end. And then see if you want to go ahead and watch it all. You know what I mean? I know. I know. <laughs> Sorry about that. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so let's let's start trying. Let's start trying to put this together here. Okay, so I think basically what I want to do is raise this up because it's right in my way. Um, so what I want to do first is I want to go ahead and glue this down to the center so I can cut my rectangle right out. And I'm just going to art glitter glue it. Um just going to art glitter glue it right down to the center. I forgot to tell my glue is going to have to work today. <laughs> Come out and play, little art glitter glue. <laughs> well, yeah, we don't need it on the center, really, because we're cutting that out, but that's okay. So center this up on the card. That looks pretty decent. I think I like that. And we're just going to let that set for just a second before we actually cut this out. Uh, yeah. Oh, I ordered one of those glass board, those glass boards. It should be here Tuesday. A big one to fill the desk. And I was going to see, because this is looking pretty shabby. And um, 
it that's like this is almost as, as expensive as the glass board so i thought well let's give it a try uh something new okay so yeah that's gonna go there but we're not doing that yet let's let that dry we're gonna actually work on this and so what i want to do with this is i want to actually i think i'm just gonna score tape that on i think would be my best bet um to get that to to be on there nice and i think what i'm going to use is this eighth inch suk wang score tape this stuff is just extremely durable and permanent um so what i what i'm going to do is i'm going to put it on well it doesn't matter uh, i'm going to actually put it on both sides of this hinge so this hinge is four inches long by a half inch and then scored on the half inch side at a quarter of an inch. So it gives you a quarter of an inch little uh, swinging tab. Little binder tab. And if you burnish this down, this stuff is so strong. It is really strong. If you burnish your score tape. That is the trick of it. So let's reinforce our little fold. Okay, and then take off one side. And this is just vanilla cardstock. Whoops, I probably should have done it in gold, but I wasn't really thinking about it. Okay, so we're going for it. I'm just going to center it up in this straight part here. Center it up there. Put it all the way on the edge. And hope for the best. Like that. Okay, now what I want to do is I want to adhere this to the top. And I think if... Let's see. So what I have to do is I have to pick the nicest... I I think this is probably going to be the nicest right here. For, you see, I didn't get my centering perfect, but um, sometimes if you flip it around, it gets a little bit better. Uh, no, it's no, it's way better this way. So I'm gonna I'm gonna score tape this down as well, so I don't see glue lines in my foil. Um, sometimes it does have a propensity to show that um, on the foil. You really it it accentuates it from the shine. You really see it. I want to also make sure to go around the um, frame as well, so there's no gaps in my frame. I should put some there as well. Uh, let's see, some here. So it stays stuck down there. Like so. Um, and then here. Because this is going to get adhered to the top. Like that. And then just give it a nice rub with your finger or burnish it with your bone folder. Your creasing tool. Um, doing that also helps the backers to come off easier as well. And then we'll see how this goes. Hopefully it goes well. I uh, hope you guys are doing awesome. Um, what are you guys working on? Mother's Day cards probably? Maybe some Crop at Home 3 stuff? Um... Maybe some flowers, because you're playing with your Heartfelt Creation stuff. Oh, look at that. Be sure to do it on a flat surface. Whoops. This is probably from the sugar off the little stamens. Oop, oop. And make sure it's in the right proper direction. See, I'm not, I'm not pressing down. See, and what happened was, too, if you cut these out at the same time, um, I didn't decide to do the window yet until after I cut the initial frame on the back side. And then I, then I put the frame on, and it squished this one, which probably made it not uniform to the other one. Because even though I lined it up with this one, um, because I did this first and then did it again, I think is why it's not as uniformed as it could be. But to me, this looks really nice. I think that is still looks really cool. So I'm I'm not sad about that. I'm I'm gonna go ahead and be happy with that. Um, and then 
Let's see. Could I disguise it a little bit if I did this? I think I could disguise it if I did that. But I think better use of this would be on the back side. Um, complementing this. And then that way you don't see this edge as much. It kind of blends into it. So I think that's what I'm going to do with this. Go ahead and put this on the back. Oops. Oh. Like that. Well, here. It's easier if we do it like this. And this is just decoration. It's not actually being utilized for anything. So I'm not really going to be too worried about... Um, uh, how much, you know, score tape I use and stuff. Which I should have just glued it in all reality. That's okay. Oh, see, don't do that. Whoopsie. That's why you have to press it down. Because otherwise it peels off. And it peels a layer of the paper. <laughs> okay, there we go. Let's see, how do we want to do this? What side do we want to see? Hopefully. Nope, nope, nope. Oh. There. I think that's good. There. That looks cool. Okay. And this is on the inside. So then, now what we want to do is we want to peel... We want to center this up, and then we want to peel this off here. So we want to figure out where this wants to live on here. That looks pretty good to me. So I'm just going to wrap that around like that. Yep, and burnish that down. Okay, so now we have that. Which this is going to layer on top of this. Oh yeah, see, make sure your surface is clean. That's why I don't like this black one. You can't really tell where all this stuff is. Um, I'm getting a white one. It, see, it kind of looks clean to me. It's probably not. <laughs> Obviously, in my gold. Good thing we're layering over that. <laughs> okay, but now let's... let's. Oh yeah, see, and the hinge just kind of blends in. You don't even notice it. And then... You'll be able to flip this open. Oh, isn't that going to be great? And see the whole thing. And then we'll flip this open and be able to see the back. Okay, so. Oh, there it is. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so let's tape this down. We're going to make sure this is as centered as possible. Hang on one second. Okay, that was John. And then I went ahead and taped this down. So now what you want to do to keep this pristine and nice is you want to wrap it in uh couple pieces of copy paper copy paper or scratch paper type so I'm just gonna fold some um, paper around it like this to keep it clean but here's the thing I'm gonna line this card edge up on my Empress plates uh, let's see on my mat. Let's see. I'm going to line it up on the edge like this. I'm going to just put it on the edge of my cutting mat. Hold on. So let's put it on the edge of our cutting mat like this. See, that'll cut out like that. So just kind of full. But you're going to want to keep it stuck out though. And then I'm just going to slide this under. All the way to the edge. See, like that. And then we're just going to fold it over, and that way it'll keep the card front really nice. So put it back on your cutting mats. And then you're going to have to run this in, like, sideways. Oh, but see, look, fudge. Fudgy, fudge, fudge. Like this. On the edge. Like so. Put it in the center of your mat. Like, uh, see? I let go. Don't let go, guys. Don't let go. Okay. I just needed to do a little bitty thing. That is all. Okay, see? Now we're ready. So I'm going to run it through just like this. Okay, I'll be right back. 
hopefully that worked. Oh yeah, the card front is still nice. Look at that. Not jinky. Woohoo. Nice. Okay, let's just gently, ever so slightly. Yeah. Um. Oh, bummer. You could have used this for something else. But when it presses the tape into... Ripped it. Oh, bummer. Yeah. That's okay. Uh, yeah. That's okay. We don't need it. Moving on. Okay, so we're done with this. Let's put that with the comedian, though. There we go. Okay, and look at this more closely. I think it's gonna work. Oh my heavens, it's gonna be awesome. Okay, let's see what it looks like now. Let's see if it's gonna hold water, this little theory we have going on. Right, so now, if we glue this down exactly to the center, we should be able to open our card. We should be able to do this, like this. Oh, how pretty. And then you open up your card. Oh, right? Isn't that cool? That is cool. That is going to be really cool, right? And then you get to see both sides. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and I'm just going to put glue on the very edge of this and then center it up over my opening there. Uh, let's see, where are you, glue? Okay. So just on the very edge. Um, oh, that is going to work fabulously. Isn't that going to be fun? What a fun thing. And then you get to utilize the both sides. You don't have to waste it. That gorgeous picture. And then how fun is that scene? on there okay line it up over the hole which is basically you're lining it up centering it up on your card so it looks really pretty right like that right doesn't that look really pretty that is gorgeous i got schmutz okay so this is looking really nice oh yeah and then look how nice that looks that looks really cool. Let's put a frame on that. So let's grab the, what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this frame. Ooh, that's gonna have to be so exact. That's okay, we can do it. And I'm gonna put a gold one on. I'm gonna put a beautiful gold frame on that. And let's, we have to make sure this is exactly Oh, I can't see. Camera's in the way. We'll just... We'll do the best we can. Seriously? That'll be fine. It'll be just fine. And then we'll cut this out of gold. Okay. There. Okay, so let me cut this out of gold. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got that out. And... Oh, yeah, this one has the... Um... Beautiful little intricately cut details on it, which is awesome. We could use that for something else. <gasps> Look how pretty. Oh, wait. Oh, let me clean this. Hold on. Okay, so we got that. Now let's see what it looks like. Oh, please work. Oh, see, isn't that gorgeous? Yeah, and that's, oh gosh, look how beautiful that is. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, so let's go ahead and, I think I want quarter inch for this score tape. Um, and the reason being is, I don't want the glue to squish out. So let's pop some score tape on this. Ooh, is it going to work? Oh yeah. And then, if my frame split... Um, I don't, I don't have to worry about the fact that this, the frame split. See, like here, it split. Well, this is going to hold it down. Um, and the reason it split is because I forgot to take the, um, middle shim out. I, I wasn't paying attention to that. And so I ended up with some of the flame, flame, <laughs> frame splitting. Not the flame, but the frame. <laughs> 
Okay, so let's let's see what do we think about that. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Uh, I think this is gonna work. So hopefully it looks cool. <laughs> hopefully all this is not for uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> okay now burnish it down press that tape into the paper yeah and apply and if you put a bead of glue on this tape it will actually allow you to um shimmy it around a little if you need and not be so like permanent yet <laughs> yet that's the key word yet and then how fun is this gonna be should we put the glue around maybe we can finagle it first what do you think did we get it oh we might have got it Oh, we totally got that. Oh, look how pretty. Isn't that pretty? Oh, and it looks like a framed portrait, doesn't it? Oh, that is, that's super cool. Oh, yeah, see? Isn't that great? So you got that, and then you open up the card. So you get the, you'll be able to see the whole scene. Okay, cool. Oh, this is so pretty. Okay, so now let's, where's our golden arches? Oh, here, I mean our silver arches. I think we want to go ahead and put some, how, how far, no, 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 it would be cool if this was on dimensionals, huh, I'm gonna do it, because this here is gonna get covered up by this here, and I don't think I'm gonna use that one, but it, uh, mm, we might, we might do that, okay, so let's put some dimensionals on this, let's see, where did I see some? I had some, I think, where they need. Okay, I'll just get some. Hold on. Oh, well, if I could shimmy them out of here. Ah, here we go. Okay, so let's just use these, like, medium-ish size ones. Here we go. And that way, um, this, no, no, no. Let's just stick with the, stick with the plan. Stick to the plan, Stan. Yeah, okay, that's cool. Let's just stick to the plan. Yeah, okay, and then actually, yeah. So, I'll just run these, like, and this is so, like, bending, it's so bowed, that I'm gonna go ahead and um, run them to the outside, but quite a few of them. Uh, so that way it helps to hold it down straight, you know, flat. Not straight, but flat. Well, probably both, actually. <laughs> okay. So let's go ahead and see what that is going to look like. Oh, were we going to... Oh, see. We'll see what we can do. Can we do that instead? And then pop this on. How do we feel about that? Oh, maybe we'll finagle this a little. Okay, hold on. Let's see what this looks like. Wait. Wait for it. Oh. Oh, this is going to take me a month of Sundays. Hold on. Okay, got it. Now, hang on. Let me put this down here. Let me make sure it's straight for the most part. Oh, no. Yeah, this, this, this is, you want this to look nice on the outside and the inside. So you need it to be straight. So I think what I'm going to line up is this here on my card to make sure that that is straight. Because I think that's what, you, what you're actually going to see. Okay, so then, um, let's see, I only need this here. So I'm going to trim off. From this, these, uh, oh, sorry, I'm going to trim off, look. See, these are going to go like this. I'm going to trim off to the pink flowers. And then that way you can't see my little schmutz either. Uh, 
it actually looked like I could keep the pink flowers too. Yeah, we're gonna we're actually gonna trim off the pink flowers. Yeah, because then we can use them. I might end up popping those on the inside of the card or on the end of the trellis. Oh, whoops, and then they go like this. Oh no, they do go like that. Isn't that funny how it like it was curved <laughs> and now you're like, how does that go? <laughs> Okay, we're going to do that, but should we pop that up as well? Huh. Maybe like that? Oh, let's pop that up too. Oh, how fun is that? That's a happy little surprise. Um, yeah, that's, that's a nice happy little surprise. Press them, press them. There. Okay. And then we might only have to... Or should we go over the top? Let's maybe... How do we feel about that? Oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Let's do that. Okay, we got this. Now we'll really make that look nice. And then hopefully the inside... Whoops. <laughs> okay, let's see. <laughs> Oh, we're going to have to do something here. That is no bueno. Oh, that is that is no bueno. Might have to use another one of these. Uh, we could we could do another one of those. Here, let's let's just go ahead and do this. Hang on. Let's just go ahead and do this. Oh gosh, right? Oh my heavens. That is so pretty. Okay, I love this. That is gorgeous. Okay, oh my. Okay, so let's see. I think we can get away with one here. One here. One in the center. Oh my, this is so pretty. Isn't this just beautiful? Look at how pretty and dimensional that is. I'm not going to do anything with these. I'm just going to let them be. And I'm going to go about there. But I think I can put... Yeah, we're going to put a couple more. Since that, since we're not putting any more down. And we're just going to let them trail. Uh, and primarily because I'm also going to hot glue some flowers. And it might help with the stability when I do that. I don't know. Oh my gosh, we could just leave it like that. How pretty is that? Oh my goodness. That is so gorgeous. That is so beautiful. Okay, hold on. Oh, that's right. I have the little pieces. Maybe I could... Those will disguise the inside. Oh, let's... We'll see what that looks like. Uh, remember the little pieces I cut off? Oops. Oh, this is so cool. Does that look? Oh, wow. That is... That is cool. Okay, so let's see what the inside looks like. Whoops. <laughs> okay, so... Can we... Well, we could trellis this down... Like so. We could do that. We could do that, and that would look. The only thing is, you you have yeah. That's that's actually not going to work. Um, let's see. Okay, well that's okay though. We could put these down. We could actually put these down like this. We could pop those up. Oh yeah, look how pretty that is. And we'll see about putting one of the arches. Uh, let's let's get those other pieces out. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Oh, whoops. You get a few sheets. You like multiple sheets. So it's not, you don't just have one. So let's, um, I think we want to go ahead and, ooh, 
glue those. Uh, let's see. Let's let's just see what we have. Maybe the pieces will go great on the front, and then on the inside we'll use this. That could be the cool part. Yeah, let's see. Okay, so let's, let's, do we, okay, hold on, but this looks really cool, okay, I think, okay, whoops, here, oh, so then, if you do, oh, yeah, that doesn't work at all, anyways, yeah, it has to be, okay, yeah, you're kind of stuck with it like this. Okay, and then you're going to have to do like that. Okay, well, that's cool. Oh, I was really wanting to use these pieces. Because that would have been neat. Well, I think this is going to help me disguise this like edge. And that, I think, will be much happier in the long run. And then that actually looks pretty decent on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's just do that. Yeah, I, I, we're going to be happier with that because we won't see all the mess there. Uh, yeah, that is that is one of those things when you're doing a window card. Um, you have to be uh, mindful about the uh, inside and stuff. Oh, did I really do that? I just tossed it down as if there was no glue on that. I was trying to roll my sleeve up. It was bothering me. <laughs> well, wait till you're done gluing. <laughs> if you're going to roll your sleeve up. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It has to go up. No, come on now. Like so. And we're going to go like there. That's pretty. Let's do that. There. There. And that, that basically covers up that schmutzy part on the inside. Okay, but that's fine. Okay, so... Okay. So then let's see what we want to do with this then. And see what if we want to use any of these flowers. Because I think the flowers would be super cool on this. Like, popping these on. Let's see, this one is a little tall. There. But, like, aren't those going to be pretty? So let's, whoops, let's go ahead and get that hot glue gun on and see what we end up doing with this. So, um, yeah, because we're going to be able to, whoops, do, like, kind of cascading around. You want to keep the these up here. So this, the video is actually kind of getting long. So let me arrange these flowers on here and hot glue them down. And then I'm just going to kind of just keep seeing what looks the nicest. Um, and if anything significant I figure out, I'll let you know. Otherwise, I'll just show you what it looks like. So hang on one second. Okay, so this is what we ended up with. Um, I just scattered a few of the little flowers here and down at the bottom. Didn't really trail any down here because I really liked how the green was. And it just looked more cluttered if I added them down here. Um, didn't use all of them and then didn't use any of the leaves because I thought this actually looked uh, much better without them. So this is what that looks like. Then your little book opens to reveal that beautiful scene. Then the card opens to re reveal the back side of that framed portion. And then what I wanted to do on the inside 
um, to decorate up the inside, I thought, well, I could add this strip here. I had cut these out, um, but I ended up not using them and thought, well, we could add them on the inside instead. Um, and I don't want to use the, um, so let me add these in and I'll be right back. Okay, so there you go. This this is the card. Uh, let me know what you guys think of it down in the comments below. Uh, try again. You like it. Um, that's the inside. I thought that actually dolled that up pretty cute and got to use the rest of those embellishments there and uh, whatnot. But I think that is a super fun way to use those um, Kirigami scene um, card toppers uh, if you didn't want to use the Kirigami dies. Uh, and wanted to really show those off. So yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Hope you're having a terrific week. Uh, thanks so much for hanging out. And until next time, happy crafting, everyone. Bye-bye.